So I decided to um, come out to do a little review of specific heat. Something that we never really did. We were supposed to do a little experiment with it and I um, kind of missed out on doing it. So I'm gonna go into the park, do that. We're passing under some nice calorie pear trees that are blooming, kind of pretty. See them behind me. So the idea here is to um, find a couple of spots where it's still wet. Remember we came here the other day, about two weeks, maybe a week and a half ago, after a rain to see the, um, looking at the uh, drainage, the poor drainage here. But now we want to find some spots where it's wet, some spots where it's dry, and assess the difference between water and the rate at which it heats up and soil and the rate at which it heats up. So we're going to do uh, shade and sun, water and soil outside, and then we're going to do the same thing inside. So we'll be on that right now. So what you want to do is take a little thermometer and just put it into the ground here. I'm going to dig up this compacted soil a little bit. And make a little pile. And I've got a starting temperature of, it looks like, 19 centigrade. I'll just put it in this soil a couple minutes and see what we get. So, we're in the sun, leave it in for a couple minutes, I'll come back, see what our temperature is, and then we'll go to the soil in the shade and see if there's any difference. So again, pretty much, it's a little lower than the air temperature. No, it's about 19, about the same as the air temperature. All right. So the idea here is that um, perhaps in the sun we get one temperature and in the shade a slightly lower one. But we might see a bigger difference between soil with a low specific heat capacity and water with a high specific heat. But again, we're going to have to try that out and see if there's any truth in that. Okay, so the first experiment is happening right now, the first test I should say where we put a thermometer into the soil in the sun. You know, I'm not that happy with this, so I'm gonna, because of this shadow crossing over, so I'm gonna move this to a sunnier spot. All right, so I decided to take it out, put it in a new spot, I mean, without any shadow at all. And I have a starting temperature of, this time I spun it a bit just to kind of get it to a starting temperature. I'll spin it from now on. And it's at 18. So it's been five minutes. Let's take a quick look and see what we got here. Looks like the temperature went up to about 21. So it went up about three degrees in five minutes. So here I found a spot in the shade, just a little bit away. You can see our starting temperature about 16 and we'll leave it in there for five minutes and see what happens let's go down and see what we got lift that baby up and we went up to oh, we dropped we lost so we didn't get any heat we're down at about 15 we started at 16 went down to 15 so didn't absorb any heat from the surrounding air and let's move to water so when we heated up the soil it absorbed the heat fairly quickly and added three degrees but now we didn't get any without adding heat keeping it in the shade
I've now come to a lovely puddle and uh, I've got a starting temperature of looks like 15, 16, 17, 18. And we'll put this in here for about five minutes and see what we pick up in the sun. A slightly different angle, but more or less same set of conditions. All right? All right. So I think we can retrieve this out of the puddle in five minutes. Let's see what we got. And in the sun, in the water, we gain nothing. We are at, we were at 18. Dropped rather rapidly out in the air. So, 18 degrees in the sun, in the water. No gain of heat. So I'm walking north here in Riverside because I'm trying to find a puddle that's in the shade, more or less. And I don't really see one. So I'm gonna walk up towards 116, I think, where there's that bigger pool. See if there's anything shady there. One thing that's gonna be different about doing this outside in this sort of crude way, as opposed to inside, is that I collected soil, and um, I think I've shown you that, or if I haven't, the way I put together this video, I don't know if this will be first, maybe it will, but you'll see that the soil I collected, I dried in the oven. Whereas this soil has still got a pretty high concentration of, maybe you can guess, high concentration of, yes indeed, you are right, water. So we're dealing with the specific heat of both the soil material and air and the soil material and water. So it's a more complicated mixture. Well, I haven't found anything that has really been in the shade except for a compromise here. I'm gonna use a little bit of the water right at the edge of this rock. This one right in the middle. So my starting temperature, walking up here, it's like about 17. Let me double check. Yeah, 17. I made a slight adjustment in the last minute. I moved the thermometer into actual shade of the rock. So again, this is a compromise as I can't find a puddle that is really just in the full shade. Looks like we've got a little visitor to our experiment. I think that's actually a fly. So let's go down and get this thermometer and see what we got. Pull it out quick because the air acts quickly. And again, we went down to 16. So we lost a degree because that water was colder than the air and hadn't had any sunlight to speak of in order to heat it up over the course of the day. So it started colder and it's gonna end the day colder. Sad reality for water. I mean, you could ask like, why is the water temperature even remotely close to the air temperature? And that's a reasonable question. Given that it gets pretty cold, in the evening, at night. And I guess the best answer to that is that it's just a puddle. So the volume is pretty low. 
or small as opposed to the ocean or a great lake. So I thought we might try this on the stairs here where we could look at stone and see how fast it heats up versus how fast it cools down. Not because we can turn the sun on and off, because of course we can't, but we could just put the thermometer here in the shade for a couple minutes and see what the temperature goes to. So here in the air, out of the sun, I've got about 16. So we'll just leave it on this granite. It's a nice, beautiful, coarse granite. Granite is, of course, great stairway step stone because it's very hard, very resistant to weathering, being worn down by your feet. So after five minutes in the shade here, we got to about 18. So we didn't really not much of a change. Maybe it went up from 16, I can't remember now. So we'll review the video, the last shot, and see. But we're up at 18. Now we're just gonna slide this over where the sun has been striking the stone for a couple minutes and see what we get. So that was a maybe two degree change in five minutes. Just for the record, I didn't really swing this, so we started at 18, and we'll see how far we go up. So you could argue that um, it's just the sun that's heating up the thermometer, but if I put it on soil, there's so much water generally in soil that it will um, actually, the evaporation of the water by the sun will cool, keep it cool. So in this case, sitting on the stone, there's no water involved at all. We're getting the sun heating the rock under the thermometer. So I think our time is up here. It's been about five minutes. Let's see what we got. Looks like 20, 24 degrees. So we went up six degrees sitting on that stone step. So sit on the stones and you'll warm up in the sun, you'll warm up the fastest. That's pretty much what you, but you'll cool down quickly too. If we came back at sunset, we would have a rude awakening. We put the, sun, the thermometer in soil in the sun and got a few degrees raised in temperature. Did it in the shade and got less. Then we put it in water in the sun. Temperature went up a bit. And then we put it in water that had been in the shade and it went up even less. In fact, I don't think it went up at all in the water. Now that I think about it, I think I, why did I say it went up a bit? It didn't go up at all. Then we decided just to check stone. And on stone, in the shade, heated up a few degrees, but in the sun, went up six. So the specific heat, different materials, can be understood just by probing with a thermometer in different conditions. Now we're gonna try the same experiment back at the ranch.